friends, you're getting a no makeup stream from me today. How are you doing? Welcome. I see Barry and says a bit stressful, but relaxing now. I'm glad to hear that. Rob, you're dead tired already. That's okay. We're going to keep things so chill today. Uh, we're going to play a little Zoetti, which is the poker roguelite that we played in Gong Show this week. I'm going to play some Breath of the Wild. We can just chill. Um, I'm sorry I got started a little later than I wanted to today. I had a bunch of work, like, just like phone calls that like called me multiple times. And I was like, okay, I thought that we had time to get this done, but I guess it needs to get done right now. So I had to push the stream a little bit. Is this a test pattern shirt? No, it's just kind of Beetlejuice-esque, you know? It's just a stripey shirt. Um, makeup's not necessary when you're among friends. I love that Hawaiian guy. Thank you. Yeah, no makeup today uh, because I, uh, had, I did a little skin uh, taking care of, a little skin self-care before this, and I don't want to put makeup on over top of that. So, you know, those little, like, face masks and stuff like that. So trying to take care of my skin so that I can continue, uh, you know, kind of fooling half the Internet. <laughs> That I'm still young enough to talk about video games. Hardy har har. I laugh because we are all, most most of this community is all in the exact same boat. Except for if you don't work on camera, it doesn't have to be as much of a concern. But since I do work on camera for a living, the wise Adam Sessler once said, getting monthly facials is the best uh, investment that you can make as someone who has an on-camera career. So thank you, Adam, for that. I'm taking care of my face. I'm listening to you. Definitely a little Hamburglar. All right, we're hearkening back to the Hamburglar days. I like it. I like it. Tynique says, I'm old enough to instantly think Be Beetlejuice. Or it could be an old tiny prison. You know what? However you guys want to <laughs> wanna frame it. Oh, that's true. I could always be a VTuber. That's true. That could happen. Although, man, that some of the VTuber designs and stuff, like I know people that do that. Some of them are so expensive. Like, real expensive. Really, really expensive. All right. All right. Let's go ahead. VTubing is hard, right, Red Banshee? That's what I'm like. I know people that do that. And that is so much work. Oh, it's my French shirt. I, <laughs> I like that. I like that. KP Dubs, it is that girl. Although, you might not know if it's that girl on Twitter. Today, Elon did what he's been threatening to do forever and took away everybody's blue checks. But you know what? While uh, I was initially sad when it was first announced uh, that he was going to do that, um, I've made my peace with it. So today is the day that happened. The only, ta the only reason I was sad is because it, it felt like a milestone in my career when I applied through Twitter's application process and finally got approved for verification. Uh, and so it felt like it was you know, something that had like been achieved in my career goals. Um, so that's why I was a little sad about it. But I mean, like I said, this has been a long time coming since Elon bought Twitter and I've made my peace with it. It's fine. Yeah, step back and let it burn at this point. I know. I know. It's wild. Forlorn Knight, thank you for the resub and welcome back. I know. Don't need it. The only thing that's a bummer is I feel like it's like if like YouTube was like, we're just going to take away... Your YouTube plaque now. Like, it's just like, hey, well, that's mean. <laughs> uh, did I see Starship? No, I did not. What is Starship? Is that is it the name of the last, Amaz uh, last Mando episode? Because I did see that. But I don't remember the name of it. Just chapter 24. Um, oh, that sounds fun. ACTC? Oh, it's the SpaceX rocket. The rocket that blew up. Yeah, no, I did not see that. That was not. <laughs> Isn't Starship an 80s band? That's what I was thinking, KP dubs. <laughs> or the name of the last uh, episode of the last Mando season. See, that's where my head's at. <laughs> Sam the Flightless, hi and welcome. Welcome, welcome. All right, I'm going to change our category over to Zoetti, which for those of you who were at this week's gong show, you'll remember because we played it uh, this past week. Um, but for those of you who were not here, uh, Zoetti, this game right here, 
is launching today. Today is their official launch day. Um, and so in support of indie devs and their launches, even though there's a ton of games out right now and coming out right now, I wanted to dedicate a little bit of time to Zoetti coming to PC and Switch today from Dusklight Games and Akapara Games. Um, if you did not see it, uh, oh, you cried a bit watching Mando. So sad, Eardle. Um, but yeah, if you did not see it on Tuesday, this was the, it's a turn-based roguelite with poker-like mechanics to cast the spells. And while we've seen a lot of card-based roguelites out there, this is the first time, at least for me, I've seen any that rely on a poker hand and traditional po poker mechanics, and I really like that. I really like that. Um, so here's where we left off when we were playing Tuesday, and we're about to get to a boss battle. So I'm like, I love that we're gonna kick off with a boss battle, and I'm, I'm kind of glad because when we were playing on Tuesday, I was a little bummed that we didn't get to see whatever the boss battle, like the big thing would be. So now we get to see it. Um, but yeah, in the story, from what we gleaned from the very beginning of the game, we'll probably learn more as we go. But from what I know about it so far, we're trying to stop an ancient fiend from breaking out of four seals uh, by four different gods that sealed the fiend in there initially. Um, and I think there is a like half fiend that's now trying to break them out. We want to stop that person, that or or thing, that fiend. Um, DM stretch. If you have a screen tearing issue, and it's a little bit better to post it in Discord so you can get all your details in there in a nice succinct way, and then we can all help you out. Um, let's see. What else can I tell you about it? I, uh, there are three different characters now with different play styles. I believe we are playing this run as Valentina because that's what we started as. Uh, but there's also Alves or Alvis, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, and Nicora. Uh, so we're either the knight, the trickster, or the mage. Right now we're currently playing as the knight. Um, Valentina blocks incoming attacks with her shield and puts the might of, uh, uh, the might of, you know, the knight behind every sword swing. So. If you like outlasting opponents, it says meeting them head on with pulverizing power, then play Valentina. So let's see if we can do that for the boss battle. Oh yeah, remember this lady? She was like all sexy. Yeah, we're continuing the run from Tuesday. Is she our boss battle? No. No, that would be wild. I mean, maybe she is. Mwahahaha. In case you weren't sure she was evil, she leads with a mwahahaha. What an excellent spell you've taught me. Denieres. You see Ravel standing atop a mound of sand coins, whipping a monster. Sand coins keep spurting out of the monster's wound. Ugh, oh, sigh. That broke rather quickly. Ravel looks at you and lazily twirls her hair. I wonder if you'll last longer. Yeah, she's got like strong dominatrix vibes, this one. SDS says, bring on the anime waifus. But yeah, I mean, this one, I feel like for her, I'm like, I can't even read some of her lines out loud. Honestly, it make me blush. Um, she says, I recently learned a spell that can turn an enemy's blood into sand coins. Ravel waves her, hand, her wand and a monster emerges from the shadows. Come, this cutie pie is your opponent. Of course it has received the same blessing. All the sand coins that spill out shall be yours, so do as you please. But if you get too greedy, you might find yourself in trouble. Yeah, she's like... Come whip this, uh, this fiend and get some money. And I'm like, ma'am, ma it's a little on the nose, ma'am. <laughs> Ravel taps the monster's shoulder and it charges straight at you. Okay, here comes. Blood into coins does sound pa painful. All right, we're playing as Valentina. We still have 20 damage from our run before. But now we got this guy, the fiendish sharp tail. Has 180 health, so double what we would have even if we were at full health. Um, he's going to deal one damage to us. He also has all these buffs down here, so let's look at them. Golden Blessings. So after taking damage, the stack number of this buff is increased by the number of times damage is taken. At the start of the turn, the player's sand coins is plus one. Okay. And Wither, take four damage at the end of every turn. Okay, and what's this? I don't know what this one is. But just as a refresher, what I have is my knight's shield. So I gain armor at the end of every turn equal to the number of enemies. So there's only one enemy, so I only get two armor at the end of this turn. Um, the spike shield, which I picked up upon suffering an attack and inflicts damage on the attacker equal to twice the number of attacks. So if he hits me once, he'll take two. If he hits me 
two times, he'll take four, etc. All right, so I'm, I'm all about I'm all about the shields. Uh, okay, but you can see these are like traditional playing cards as opposed to specific attacks. Now, if I have a full house, I can do this attack, three of a kind, mini flesh, two pair, one pair, and single. Let's look at my full house attack. Power break slash level one. Uh, deals 32 damage and inflicts frail for two turns. Three of a kind randomly attacks an enemy four times, dealing two damage each time. So that only does eight damage, but in terms of getting money, it'll get me more money than doing the big ol' attack. So that's important. A mini flush will give me uh, strength plus one, which would be great for the amount of attacks I can do. But if I do the mini flush, I can't do my three of a kind. My two pair is temporary strength plus three, draw two cards. Um, I mean, that would be great too, but that does definitely take out my three of a kind in full house moves. One pair is a little block. So, you know what? Well, let's just do damage at first. Full house, straight full house, 32 damage. Okay, and let's see what he got now. Aha, I can scroll down there. She's learning, friends. Uh, temporary strength attack plus one for current turn. Oh no. Revenge. After taking damage, gain temporary strength equal to the number of times damage is taken. So good thing I didn't do the four. Oh, is it, is it, the music's a bit loud? I'll turn it down. I also might be a bit quiet. Let me check my sound. Thank you for the reminder. It shouldn't have changed since yesterday, but just in case. Because sometimes Windows decides to be funky. Nope, it should be good. Uh, Colin says, I'm getting Slay the Spire vibes with gameplay, but regular playing cards instead. Viridian says, loud but epic. All right, it, hopefully it's a little bit better now for you. Um, so yeah, I guess... <laughs> Holy crud! Uh, one of my controllers just yeeted itself off the wall, by the way. That's what just happened. I was like, excuse me, things crashing in the back of my room. All right, well, I guess no more adhesive on the controller mounts. I'm gonna have to use screws. I should have said, what was that, a coffee machine? Then, you know, then that clip would have been better for the, how rude of that controller, I agree. All right, so now all we can do is single attacks, but every time I hit him, there will be another coin in the coin purse, but he gets more revenge. And his revenge is equal to the number of times damage is taken, and it's just temporary strength. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna do what I can do, which is way more coins. His temporary strength is now plus four, but he's got frail minus two, so at least I helped myself out there. All right, we're gonna end turn. So I've got a shield of two. He did three damage, I only took one. All right, he is doing zero attacks. Uh, for two right now, but he will do more Maybe or will it all stay zero by two? I mean that would be great if that was the case And it's it's because of his frail that's why he's doing zero by two Um, so maybe I should like load it up this time. Okay mini flush two pair Oh, I can't really do much this time anyway, so let's do temporary strength plus three and draw two cards. Great. Uh, and now that I have that plus three, my single attacks will each do six damage. So that ended up being a pretty good turn. But revenge at four, so now he's doing three times two, so I'm gonna take six damage. Well, I'm gonna take four. Yeah. Mathing. I'm mathing quickly. Grogu's in the house throwing things. I know. I know. Or has Logan had more power than we thought? I don't know. All right, mini flush. Uh, he's down to 101, I'm down to 65. So he's losing life faster than I am, which is great, but let's see, this time he's just gonna buff himself. He's attack up. So, I don't need to worry about armor. Temporary strength plus three might be good, or I could do overall strength plus one. Um. Let's do temporary strength plus three again. Draw two cards. And hit him for another 24. And the turn. He's just giving himself some more attack. 
But now he's going to do two by three. So now I need to be careful. This time I am actually going to block. So that'll give me seven block. Uh, mini flush, strength plus one, battle ready. Yeah, I don't want to hit him a ton this time. We'll hit him once. It's only going to deal four damage, but it will give him... Nah, I feel like, I feel like I'm going to end turn. We're not going to do that. Okay. So blocked those attacks. We're good to go. Church, happy 420 to you as well, and to anyone celebrating, really. Except for Elon. He's the only one celebrating. I don't wish that on. <laughs> All right. Um, now, he's going to buff himself again here, giving me the opportunity to really uh, do some damage, which is great. I could either do the 33 or I could do 8. If I use my three of a kind, but if I use my three of a kind, I can't do the mini flush or the two pair or the one pair. Uh, do I want more money or do I want to take, I mean, we're doing good. Let's get more money. Okay, so his revenge just went up a bunch. But he's still not hitting me, so I'm just gonna... Hit him more. His revenge is still gonna go up. Okay. Now, did I just make him super OP? It's okay if I can take him out in my next turn. Yeah, Wither. He's gonna do four by four. I could do... I can hit him for 12. I can up my strength. Ooh, this is gonna be for 16. That's gonna be a lot. Um... Let's do one pair to help block. And then a mini flush to give me strength. Because that's overall strength. And then I'll just hit him once. So now they're doing 20 damage. I probably shouldn't have done that last hit. That was silly. That was silly! Corgi, he took my Twitter verification away today. So not a, definitely not a fan today. But no, not a fan in general. Haven't been a fan for years. Um, let's see. But yeah, when you spend lots of uh, time on a platform trying to cultivate a community there and then the rug gets ripped out from under you because someone feels like they got made fun of too much. That makes you not a fan. <laughs> All right. Enough about that, though. It's a happy day. It's a happy day. We're playing games and chilling out. Uh, let's see. Cast strength on you or your partner. Um, Fiendish sharp tail. Um, golden blessing. So yeah, we're still getting some coins out of this for sure. Let's get a let. Let's see if we can lethal this time. I mean, I'd pro. I have to do all singles, but that's okay. One, a two, a three, and he's done. All right, 32 coins, plus five, whatever those crystals are, and I get to pick a new ability. Battle Spirit, level one, strength plus one, defense, performance plus one. Temporary strength, I have that. Uh, two pair, attack stance, level two. Oh, let's get the level two one. Okay, great. It took forever to kill that! <laughs> oh, you survived. What a shame. Rebel instantly appears to behind you and pulls on your hair. I'll leave the hair play for next time. I'm telling you. I'm telling you with this one. Rebel laughs as she waves her wand and disappears. Claim reward. Keep, uh, keep cards in your hand to have more options next turn. Okay. Oh, a meditation tunnel, meditation function. We have a, this is what the crystals are for. You can meditate once each time you go to a campfire or return to your room. Meditation allows you to spend soul stone fragments to level up skills and gain character abilities. All right. And here I'm just going to just in case anybody's like, "What are we playing today?" That's what we're playing today. 
Um, let's do it. So I can rest. I can also meditate. Uh, let's rest. Meditate. Uh, single, a skill enhancement. Skill chop could go from deals three to deals four damage. Um, another single shield up would go from armor plus three to armor plus four. One pair. Armor five to armor eight. That seems like a good deal. Strength plus, uh, deals five damage, deals seven damage. Attack stance level two would go to level three. So that would be temporary strength plus four to temporary strength plus five. Um, that's pretty good, but we just upgraded that, so let's see what else. Attack enemies five times for three of a kind, or full house could go from 32 to 38 damage. Um, I do have nine crystals, so I can only really upgrade one. I think the plus five to plus eight. Upgrade attempt. Meditate once. Have to claim. Okay. So I don't have enough to upgrade again, so that's okay. And I did the skill enhancement, but I could have also done an ability enhancement for agility, bravery, my, I probably should have done that. Oh, that cost 15 crystals. I didn't have enough anyway. All right, that's fine. Well, now I know I can save up my crystals for that in the future. After leaving the room, you see the guide bent over with her hands against the wall. The cute guy. Uh, drank way too much last night. My head hurts. I want to puke. Drink some water. Someone says as they hand her a cup. Uh, I'll, you know what? I'll drink some water too, by the way. But thanks. May the stars be with you. The guy drinks all the liquid in a single gulp. Only then does she realize that it was Rebel who had given her the water. No! Not the evil lady. What? I didn't get anything and I'm still paying the price. Oh, I'm dead. I tell you, dead. Oh, relax. It's just a cup of water. I won't steal your soul. But you'd better get to the latrine. Curse you, despicable devil. Why, thank you for the compliment. The guy brushes off, clutching her stomach. Good morning, little kitty. It looks like today is going to be quite fun. She hands over today's trial, then smiles as she waves her wand and disappears. Just as you're about to leave, someone grabs a hold of you. Hey, Here's a little something to help you out. A meteor hammer. Every 12 uses of the uh, attack skill in battle, get charge plus 10. Charge gives you attack plus 10% per stack, removed after using that skill. Okay. Yeah, we're just drinking out of cups sight unseen, apparently, Forlorn Knight. Uh, let's see, HP plus 20%. The second trial is going to be a lot harder. If you get stuck, remember to head to the shop and buy some goods. You wave goodbye to the teary-eyed guide and take your leave. Okay. Accommodation, dialogue, or leave. We're, uh, I mean, we did our dialogue, I think. Yeah, leave. Okay, whoa. We're in town now. We could do the inn we were just at. The shop. Or, oh, Akupara Games is raiding! Very, very kind. Welcome to the raiders from Akupara Games, the very publisher of Zoeti, the game we're playing right now. So, welcome to the stream. The balloons are for you. For those of you I don't know, hi. My name's Trisha Hirschberger, and I normally do tech and video game on-camera hosting, um, both online and on TV, even every now and then. Uh, and this is my Twitch channel where I play games for fun on days that I'm not on set. So welcome. Thank you for being here today. As I said, we're playing Zoeti today in celebration of the launch day. For those of you just joining, you probably already know this since you're coming from Akubara's stream. Uh, but Zoeti is coming to PC and Switch today. Huzzah! Congrats on your launch day. Um, congrats to Dusklight Games. Congrats to Akupara Games. And uh, we're having a good time with it so far. So we're just kind of exploring town right now. Uh, Tigru42 uh, just redeemed clean your glasses, which I just did at the beginning of the stream, but I will do it again. Here, I have my little uh, glasses cloth right here, and I will. Did they look dirty? Did they look dirty when I switched to that? Hi, everybody. So yeah, I don't need to tell y'all extra about this game because you know it, but what I can tell you is that we're having a great time. We had a great time when we played this on Tuesday. 
uh, for my Indie Games Showcase as well, and I'm glad I'm getting to see more of it today on the launch day. All right, glasses are clean. Thank you, Tegru, for that. You're looking out for me. You're looking out for me. All right, so here we go. Um, the shop. Oh, look at this guy. I love his design. Uh, old whetstone at the start of the battle strength plus two break after five battles um, I could purchase it uh, How much is it to purchase I wonder I do probably I have 290 coins. I have a lot of coins not gonna lie All right, it's 90 to purchase that sharp pauldrons. He says no worries dear customer tie it with a string and it's good as new uh, When taking damage it deals 25 damage to the attacker, but breaks after three activations the flail, uh, after the use of a two-card skill, inflicts frail for one turn. Mm, I don't know that that'll apply very often. Strength potion plus one. Rage potion, temporary strength plus three. Or iron stab ball, deals ten damage and grants fragile for two turns. Um, you know what? Let's go with the old whetstone. It was the first thing suggested. I have the coins for it. And I think that's it. I think that's the only thing I want to purchase because we do have the meteor hammer every 12 uses of the slash skill we get charged plus 10 all right i'm feeling i'm feeling good about it i also look forward to my next visit thank you so much let's go to our mission over under one another another controller falling gosh i hope not that was terrifying uh i will not be able to return to the town after entering the world map confirmed yes that's fine i'm okay there Select a path. So it looks like we can either do uh, this path, which has some uh, question marks, a campfire, so a bunch of, bunch of unique things, or I forget how we change the path. Unshackled trial. You won't be tied up for this trial, really, unless you're into that sort of thing. Oh, of course, because Rebel, she likes to be in charge. That's what I'll say about her. That one. All right, so I guess that's the path we're choosing because I don't think I can select a different path right now. So we'll go with it. Okay, oh, we're fighting this killer. I was gonna say this cute little thing and then it's a killer bee. Not a cute little thing. Uh, deals four times two damage. It's gonna sting me for eight damage. Holy cannoli, protection force. It has an energy shield plus one at the end of the turn. So I have to do more than that. And we're getting a raid right now from Good Day Internet. Oh my goodness, back-to-back -back raids. Can you believe it? Welcome to the raiders from Good Day Internet. So nice to have you here as well. We're about to take down a murder hornet, as Rob says. Uh, it's actually a killer bee. But welcome to the stream. For those of you I don't know, my name is Trisha Hirschberger. I talk about tech and video games online. Um, and today I'm playing some video games here on Twitch, but not just any video game. Zoetti came out today from Desklight Games and Acapora Games. And uh, yeah, come on by and check it out. It is a turn-based roguelite with card-based mechanics, but poker card-based mechanics, um, which I feel, I feel like is very unique. So stick around for a bit. Thank you for being here. And folks, if you do not follow Acapara Games on Twitch and you do not follow Good Day Internet on Twitch, feel free to check out both of their channels. They have been linked in chat. Appreciate the raid and you trusting your communities here. All right, going back in. We're about to fight this killer bee, like I said. So, four times two. And what is this? Okay. All right. Let's do... I'll randomly attack you four times. But for four. See how you like them apples. Yeah. Uh, now, I can attack more with all of these singles. This is going to be real nice for my meteor hammer. Yeah. Okay, and turn. Now I did take some damage there, but that's okay. Three of a kind will hit again pretty well. Let's see if we want to up our strength first. Um, we do have our charge plus ten percent, which is always nice. Uh, I feel like let's just go for it. I like to play all on the offense. I think we, in fact, my friends, have lethal. There it is. All right, claiming that reward. Got some money. Uh, tactical guard level two, gained four armor two times. Defense performance plus one, temporary card draw enhancement plus one. That's interesting. Um, let's, let's do the level two card. Why not? 
Bobberty, thank you for the resub. Welcome back, friend. Good to see you. Aquapara Games says, big oof, tactical guard. Big oof as in, like, good job picking that one, or no, no, that's no good. Let me know. All right, I can either go for this exclamation point or what looks like the money. Uh, let's go, let's go to the interaction. You're walking along the road when you suddenly get dizzy. Oh, it's Giga Armor. It's very good. Okay, cool. I was afraid I picked wrong. Uh, okay. When you come to, you're standing in front of a stall. A pigkin wearing a tuxedo and a monocle is staring at you from inside. Why is this pigkin looking flirty? Everybody flirty in this game. All right, let's see. Greetings, dear customer. I believe this is our first meeting. He places his hand on his chest and takes a deep bow. My name is Rotan, and I am but a humble merchant. <laughs> Hello, dear customer. It's rare to see one such as you here. Do you want to buy anything? All the high-quality goods are presented here, and the prices are good. You try to get a better look at the items on the table, but everything's covered by a black fog. Nothing can be seen except for the price and some unintelligible words. Oinky ooh, not being able to see what you're buying makes it all the more fun. He flashes a wily smile. Um, alright. Select a rare item for 30 coins. Select a common accessory or cursed item for 60 coins. Purchase everything for 80 coins. Uh, I feel like YOLO. We're gonna purchase everything for 80 coins. What did we get? Healing salve. Removes fragile, fr oh, that's nice, great. Uh, oh, I can only select one, I see. I thought I got all the things. Gain invincible for one turn, interrupted turn. Um, poison blade plus two, ooh, let's do gain invincible for one turn. Okay, oh, I see, I see, I do get a couple things. A hide blanket after resting HP plus 10, that's nice. Warrior badge at the start of the battle, strength plus one. Zonda Staff, after the first use of a four card or greater skill each turn, inflicts frail on the farthest enemy for one turn. Oh, I kind of like that too. I'm going to go with the blanket. Thank you for your patronage. He snaps his fingers and your rationality returns. His stall has disappeared. Okay, now is this rescue a friend or gain an ally? You discover the Epes, e Epes idol? I don't know. I don't know. A uh, goddess of swords. We can pray and get a common item or offer seven soul stone fragments uh, to get a common accessory. Um, well, I guess I can only hold one more item. I don't know how many accessories I can get. So let's get an accessory. It's seven soul stone fragments though. Oof. Um, let's just pray and get an item. Oh, deals 40 damage. Okay, I'll be sure to use that soon. Thank you. All right, campfire. Um, we don't really need to rest, but I could meditate, although I do still have my soul stones now. So let's go ability enhancement. I don't have 15, but I want to save 15 for that. Um, unless we need five to upgrade our chop or shield up two pair those are both level two my straight deals 39 to 46 whoa baby let's upgrade the straight yes great okay back out of here and leave Looks like we've got another boss battle ahead of us, which means more flirty rebel, I think. Oh, I have to rest. Okay, I'll rest. There we go. You arrive at the location of the trial and see rebel surrounded by spiders. Time to eat, my children. She throws a rabbit into the air. The large spider covers it in a web and then the smaller spiders pounce on it. Soon, only the rabbit's bones remain. Do you like spiders, little kitty? Rebel asks, stroking the large spider. They're excellent hunters and obedient soldiers, though aesthetically somewhat lacking, until I raise this cutie pie. I believe that the best means of control is not a matter of matter, but of how to bind the mind. There is nothing restricting your movements, yet you are paralyzed by fear. Rebel suddenly stretches out her arms and clutches herself in a tight embrace. Seeing such an anxious and helpless expression just makes me so excited. 
Come, Kitty, let me hear your cries of regret and despair. Here she goes. All right, now, uh, ooh, the Spidey in the back hat is going to, let's see what their actions are. Grants armor to you or your partner. Uh, cast spidery web on you or your partner. Oh man. Poison blade. Uh, the skills inflict targets with poison equal to six times the number of times damage is taken. Whoa, that's bonkers. If I'm reading that correctly. And the spidery web, after taking damage, inflicts temporary card draw weakened on the attacker equal to the number of times damage is taken. Holy cannoli. All right, well, they're gonna hit me for three, uh, they're gonna hit me for seven right now, so I should probably block a bit. I only have one pair. I still have one pair if I do the mini flush. If I do three of a kind, I don't have any pairs. Um, and I don't think I really have any area of effect attacks. So let's do strength plus one for me. One pair for me. And then I'm going to try to take out these. Oh, this is going to be so hard because single can only hit the first person. Oh, no, I say. Is this the battle where we end our run? Hammer 2 by says, ooh, a card game. Yeah, Zoetti is the first game that we covered on the um, Indie Game Showcase this week, if you saw it then. And it just launched on PC and Switch today. So we're selling, we're playing in honor of and in celebration of their launch day. Okay, uh, so let's see. I guess I gotta end my turn there. Yikes, spikes. I got 14. But now they all have nine shield. I better do some real damage. Oh no! And this is because I have the card draw weakened, so I've got two less cards. All I can do is single hits. Oh no, this is... You know what though? You know what I can do? I'm forgetting that I have these things. Now can I deal this on anybody? Oh no, I can only deal it on, one, on that person. All right. Well, I guess I have the gain invincible for a turn if I need it. Good to know, good to know. Okay, end turn. You like how they dance even when they're standing still? Everybody's moving. Oh no. Now I'm poisoned too? What are they gonna do now? Um, Claude Spider Queen. What is that one? I'm trying to see what that is. Poison Blade, Strength Attack plus one. Yeah, I need to like, he I should have picked the healing thing. Didn't I have a healing thing? I should have picked that. So silly of me. Okay, am I actually gonna get all my cards this turn? I know I'm getting poisoned rapidly, but thank goodness. I still, what an awful hand. I do have one pair to block myself at least a bit. Um, I don't want to use my invincible and I don't want that yet. So I'm gonna do, I guess I'm just, okay. I'm trying, trying as hard as I can. End turn. Draw is so demand. This might be where the run ends, y'all. Okay, I don't need to block this time, so I'm just gonna take out those spiders. I finally have the other spider. Okay. End turn. Okay, spidery web is gonna happen again. Okay, let's see, that, that other move they have is charge. Attack plus 100%. But they haven't, at this this character, the Claude Spider Queen, hasn't actually attacked me yet. So I wanna save my invincible for when they decide to really attack. Okay, two pair, temporary strength plus four. Draw two cards, and then I could single four times. Let's do that. 
two, three. So that's 40 damage right there. That's nothing to sneeze at. All right, we'll end the turn. Okay, now I'm gonna get hit. But it's only for 14. Well, I can't do much damage back. Now, does this 14 that's here include their charge 100%? Or is that, like, is that going to be 28? Or is it actually 14? Uh, Kumahara says, we believe in you! Static Gamer, if you're celebrating, happy day to you as well. Yeah, this is not great, but that's all right. I mean, I'm miraculously surviving the poison, okay? Um, I think I just heal myself before I get hit for that. I think I'm gonna take it out next turn. So why don't, I'm gonna do my invincible. So I didn't take the damage. No. Do, oh, so close to lethal, but not quite. But now we can do it. Only five left, I got you. Mini flush. Two pit. Nah, we're just going all attacks. Boop. Bye-byes. All right. Oh, we got a sticky potion. I'm glad we cleared up uh, an item slot. Uh, two pair. Shield blade combo level one. Um, ooh, power break slash level two. Or a chaos slash level two. Um, ooh, which one's... I think I want one of these. Although shield blade combo's cool too. Um... Let's do Chaos Slash. Okay. Sticky Potion removes all of the target's armor and evade. Ooh, I like that. Now, uh, Rebel says, Amazing. You looked panicked for a moment, but you quickly regained your composure. Who, me? Rebel sincerely applauds you. Congratulations. You have passed the trial. She slowly approaches you, then bends down and raises your chin. To celebrate. Do you want to play in my room tonight? I told you, this one, making me blush. <laughs> Just joking. No, she's not. She smiles as she waves her hand, gradually fading away. All right, but we got some money and a new accessory. We only have room for one more, a cursed doll. At the start of the turn, inflict Oh, no, these are the ones that we keep. Yeah, these are the accessories, so we keep them. Uh, Cursed Doll, at the start of the turn, inflicts five debuffs on a random enemy. The debuffs are fragile for one turn, frail for one turn, temporary strength weaken plus three, poison plus five, and whoa, and wither plus two. Um, rich nourishing liquid, card draw plus one, starting hand plus one, at the start of the battle, HP plus three. Or the necklace of battering, gain temporary hand limit enhancement. Um, and temporary card draw enhancement. I like the cursed doll. Okay, keep cards in your hand to have more options next turn. I mean, maybe. Okay, we're gonna rest. Um, I have 14 soul stones, not 15, so I'm actually not you going to butt. meditate. I'm gonna save them. Cute guide says, morning, congrats on passing the astral devil's trial. Today I'll take you to the Temple of Coins to receive your blessing. Normally it would count as a little vacation, but a bunch of monsters recently crawled out from deep in the forest. It's probably going to be a dangerous trip. Hmm, forget it. You rest at the inn. I'm going to go scope out the route. The guide grabs her bag and rises to her feet. No need to worry. If things get dangerous, I'll just chuck a smoke bomb and escape. She packs her little bag. What? Not paying attention, she bumps into someone standing in the doorway. Are you all right, Lass? <laughs> I'm fine. Bye-bye. Wait, Lass, your bag. The blue knight holds up the bag the guide dropped, but she is already long gone. I'll return it to her. Very well. I wish you safe travels. You take the bag and head off to find the guide. Yeah, and Puss in Boots is just chilling there. <laughs> Mr. Foxy, absolutely. Radios has hurt your opponent at the start of every turn. Sign me up. I know, right? Okay. Uh, so, accommodation. Uh, I think we did all this. So, we'll go ahead fourth. 
We could do some shopping. Let's look. We've got some accessories and some items. Oh, insect repellents 50% off. Removes bite and all enemies gain half of their bite. Interesting. Um, deals 10 damage and grounds fragile. Inflicts temporary strength weakened. Emergency rations. Now, is there an unlimited amount of accessories I can have? I don't know if there is. But if there is, I'm just going to keep collecting accessories. So if anyone in chat knows if there's an unlimited amount of accessories I can have, that'd be pretty nice. All right, I'm going to buy the insect repellent because it's 50% off, I think. Although the iron stab ball is pretty clutch. All right, I'm buying the iron stab ball. And yeah, nobody, let's see. I mean, they wouldn't let me buy it if I couldn't use it, right? Um, that breaks after three activations, breaks after five activations. After the use of a two card skill weight emergency rations after winning a battle at HP plus four, seems kind of nice. Um, yeah, let's get emergency rations. Purchase. Hi, Kevix Bye, how are you? I hope I said your name correctly. You have a good time, dear customer. All right, go to mission. Yes. We're going to the mission. Select a path. I forget how we changed the paths last time, unless there is really only one path I can do. I don't know. There might be only one. Oh, okay, thanks, bye. Yes, good call, Viridian. You got it. You got it. All right, let's do it. Mm. He's going to hit for one, going to hit for 12, going to hit for nine. Wow, things are intense. Deals 51 damage and does frail. Whoa, deals 72 damage. I wish I could save that for somebody else, but it always does it to the front. So let's see. Uh, 51 damage and inflict frail. I don't care about that. Randomly attack enemies five times, dealing six damage each time. You know what? Let's try that, because then we'll still have a one pair left. Oh, and it does randomly attack different enemies. But wait, why didn't they take any damage? They took no damage. What, what wizardry is that? I don't know, but I'm gonna block a bit. Oh, you can select. Okay. Why did they not take damage on my last one? They cast frail on me. Okay, man, they are. I guess I'm just gonna go for single each time. Oh, because they have dodge status? Oh, evade aura. Okay, this is the first time we're running into that. Evade aura, the entire team games evade plus two at the start of the turn. And they take two damage at the end of the turn. Okay, so that evade plus two, I guess, does it let them evade the first two attacks? Oh, the little curvy arrow, evade. For current turn, each stack can offset damage that is no greater than 10, and the effect can be stacked. This effect will not be triggered if it can't block the total damage of a single attack. Okay. Let's take out this friendo first. One friendo down. Yeah, so they're dodging it. Wow. All right. Three of a kind. Randomly attack enemies five times, dealing four damage each. Well, this guy's just going to block it, but that one won't be able to. Now, if I did the mini flush before that, that would up my strength, so it would do five damage each. Let's do that. What is this guy going to do? Hold on. Put that back. Fragile. 
Take damage plus 50% for the next turn. So he's trying to get rid of that. But since he has it now, let's do mini flush. And then three of a kind. Okay. And end our turn. Got it. I could also, how much does this do? Deals 10 damage and grants fragile. Oh, removes all of the target's armor and evade. I mean, I should have done that, but it only is for one person. Let's see if we can do this another way. Temporary strength plus four could be great. Saving my one pair, but no, I need the two pair if I'm gonna do that. And the mini flesh also. Um. I feel like temporary strength plus four and draw two cards is a good way to go. And now I'm just gonna unleash on this friend. Okay, good. Friendo done. Next friend. End turn. Got it! All right, we got some good coin. We get to select a new skill. Um, attack stance level three, temporary strength plus five, draw two cards. That seems very nice. Now let's see, if I compare with what I have, I have level two and tactical guard level two. Battle ready versus fury, um, temporary strength plus five, or shatter strike deals 46 damage versus rain slash deals seven damage five times and inflicts, inflicts frail for one turn. Um... I want attack stance level three. Okay. Okay, and there's no upper limit on accessories. Great to know. Thank you, Kumahara. Now, do we want to go boss, boss, or campfire? Uh, we're okay. Let's go boss. We'll go boss in the middle so we have another choice to make later. Look at this opening hand, thanks to all my, like, perks and stuff. That's pretty nice. All right. I see this one has evade four. And again, just to refresh on evade so I know how the math works, for each current, for the current turn, each stack can offset damage that is no greater than 10, and the effects can be stacked. So if this guy has effect uh, evade four, does that mean anything I hit him for less than 40 damage, he can just dodge if I'm reading that correctly because it's four stack of up to ten so I either need to hit him five times with something or I need to hit him for over 40 damage aha uh -huh. okay yep so I usually just boop those guys to reduce stacks I see well I mean I could do I mean I'm not really gonna hit that guy right now anyway probably No one's hitting me, so I don't really need the armor. Let's do two pair and draw two cards. And then we're just gonna ping away. Okay, bye-bye, first one. Now the next guy will get hit with the slash because I think that has to hit the first person, I believe. So I could do, oh not the herb, I could do Sticky Potion. Oh, why did it Sticky Potion that guy? I wanted to Sticky Potion that guy. Oh, that's some crumb. All right, I guess I'm hitting the dude in the back. That's all right. I guess I'll take that. I don't know why it's aimed here and not there. Maybe my Sticky Potion says, now you get to get this person. Aquapara says, I understand this pain. We're learning. We're learning. We're all learning together. Oh, man. He's going to hit for... Okay, after all my frails there, thank goodness, because that was going to be 33 damage. It's only 21 now. Temporary strength plus 5. I mean, I probably should block this time. Aquapara says, I didn't know you could change targets for months. See? There you go. But I'm like, right now, if each of these cards deals seven damage, one, two, three, four, five, six, six times seven is 42, so I still can't take away this friend, unfortunately. 
I can definitely take down this friend. So let's do one pair to give me a little bit of help here. Oh, but this isn't gonna work because it's only seven damage and he'll evade it four times like a jerk. Um, all right, well, that's all right. We're putting it on the guy in the back anyway. All right, end turn. That was not great. Took a lot of damage that time. Okay. Oh, and this guy ran away, I guess. Was he like one of those little money goblins that we had before? Like a literal, yeah, he's going to go away next turn. He was the loot goblin, right? If I kill him before he runs away, I get lots of loot. Yeah, okay, okay. I remember him from Tuesday when we were playing. Um, we can just, we can just take this home slice out. Yay! Gain nine armor three times. Draw two cards, multi-wall level two. Let's compare with what we've got. Versus power break slash. That's another full health. That's pretty cool. Rain slash level two versus shatter strike. Um, and shield protection. Armor five. No, let's go multi-wall. Okay. All right. Let's go uh, get a friendo maybe. Oh yeah, this is the praying. We can pray here. I can pray, get a rare or below, offer 75 sand coins, select a common accessory, offer 200 coins. Let's offer 200 coins, get a rare accessory. What are we gonna get? A hood after winning a battle. Two soul stone fragments? Yo! The robe after a shuffle, hand limit enhancement plus one. Uh, after using... A defense skill for the first time deals frost damage equal to four times the cards used. Um, let's do the hood. Thank you for that. And now we've got some kind of interaction here. A red knight and a blue knight arguing in the distance. Just beat up the enemy from the start. No, you have to make sure you can stay alive, then fight back, the Blue Knight speaks calmly. What do you think? What is your opinion? Oh, come on. I'm all offense. That's correct. You know what you're doing. The Red Knight pats the Blue Knight with the back of his hand. Truly spoken. Here, take this. Griffin Helm, at the start of the battle, fighting spirit plus one. Fighting spirit plus one after killing an enemy. Yes, I love it. We still have tasks to attend to, so let's get going. Okay. Now I don't really get a chance to heal before this boss battle unless I can use the herb now and it doesn't look like I can. So here we go. Um, get lost, you wicked fiends. The guide throws a stone over her shoulder as she continues to flee, but the monsters avoid it. Eee, don't eat me. Don't eat me, fish is so much better. The guide squats and clutches her head. The monsters leap toward her. Don't even think about it. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Revenge after taking damage, gain temporary strength equal to the number of times damage is taken. When HP is decreased, gain temporary strength plus one. Yeah, this guy, he's tough. Frail, attack reduced to 75% uh, for the next one turn. Poison, wither, and fragile. That was all for me. I did that. Uh, two pair. So I can either permanently give myself more strength. He's gonna hit for nine. Or temporary strength and draw two more cards. Um, let's go for the mini flush. Because then I can also defend a bit, which is great. And then we'll go one, two, I feel like it's worth it for the 9 damage, even though now I'm going to get walloped for 15. Okay. I got to watch my health, because this could be scary. Um, ugh. 0 times 5 right now. But every time I hit, that's going to go up. 
Uh, I mean, I guess if I'm going to do that, I better make my fewer attacks count. So he'll be hitting me for five, which every one that I'm doing, but this is 18 damage. So you know what? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit him with all that and then heal myself a bit. Okay. Yikes, all right, all right. But I got in some great hits there, right? Uh, the straight 79 damage. Yes, eat it. Goodbye. Bye-bye, sharp tail fiend. And select a skill. Um, chaos slash level 3. Okay. Big numbers, big numbers. You came to save me. Thank you. Aw, thank you to the great stars and Zoetti for allowing us to meet again. Here, your bag. Wow, thanks. Uh, since we're here, why not just head to the Temple of Coins? Here, take this. You receive a necklace that's divided into four sections. A club, a heart, a spade, and a diamond. This necklace is the key of Arcana. It can collect blessings and guide you on your way. The Temple of Coins is protected by a magic barrier. Anyone who approaches without the key of Arcana will get lost, so take good care of it. You continue on with a guide and arrive at a sacred, solemn-looking temple. An idol of Denieris, goddess of the coins of Earth, stands in the center of the temple, shining with a dazzling light. Come on now, hold the key tight and say a prayer. She pushes you forward. Basically, you should pray for something you want. Quality, a rare accessory. Quantity, coins. Or a bit of both. Um, let's get another rare accessory. I'm just collecting accessories. After using the item for the first time, each battle... Uh, strength plus two and charge plus four or boots at the start of the battle grants evade equal to the number of items held interesting or dance step when picked up grants Den Denieris's dancing shoes after completing a patch a path node if you don't have the dancing sho shoes grant this item okay Let's do strength plus two and charge plus four. The guide suddenly presses against your back. What'd you get? Let me see, let me see. You jump away, panicked, as she proceeds to chase you around the temple. In the depths of the forest, oh, the half-fiendish boy. We're meeting the half-fiendish boy. I think this is like our big bad of the game. This is the person who's trying to free the fiend. Okay, quest cleared. Claim reward. Ancient mask, sundering hammer, or heavy hand ballista. At the start of every turn in battle deals 30 damage to a target. Yeah, I don't even need to read the other ones. <laughs> Instant damage, yes. Strength potion, temporary strength, or steel change. Scroll invincible for one turn. I'm gonna go with that again. That was very, very useful. Elbel says, ooh, I was super curious about this game. I saw it on Twitter. Did you? Um, I played it a little bit in the Indie Game Showcase this past Tuesday, and I'm playing to celebrate the launch day today. So let's see. I definitely need to heal up. We're totally going to meditate and ability enhancement. Um, after winning a battle, HT plus 10. That's going to be nice. At the end of the turn, converts every stack of temporary strength into two armor. That's also nice. All of this is really nice. I'm so glad I saved up. I can get two of these, y'all. I think I can at least. At the end of the turn, charges all skills with charge effect ones, defense performance, bravery. Uh, I want all three of these. Let's do health first. Confirm. Oh, I can only meditate once each day. All right, well, that's all right. I'm glad that we got that. Let's go back. We'll leave. Hello, get enough sleep? Today you have to take on the trial of the Scepter of Fire, but the Examiner doesn't seem to be here yet. Nonsense. I got here before you did. Rebel appears behind the guide and hits her on the head with her wand. Ow! Rebel, you're still here? <laughs> I'm interested to see how the pretty kitty does, so I decided to stay for a few more days. And with the next examiner being him, it's rare I get such a nice new toy to play with. I won't let anyone break it. 
The ground shakes violently and loud rumbles can be heard outside the house. What the? What's going on? They rush out to investigate. Ho ho, my new move. Pretty neat, huh? A man wearing elaborate armor and wielding a lance stands in the middle of the road, bellowing with laughter. Huh, you've ruined the road. How unsightly. Oh ho, wanna, you wanna go? Let's go. The dragons around here stink. Finally, a battle that might be a bit of fun. No, thank you. You can take that to mean that I'm afraid of you, you maniac. Morning, Cornelius. Or Cornetius, not Cornelius. This is Cornetius, the astral sun. He's our next examiner. Ah, Miss Daza, the sun shines bright today. Perfect for a trial of wits and gall. Oh, so this is the brat who's taking on the trial? Wait, why, what? Why am I a brat? Excuse you. I mean, no offense. It's just that this trial might be a bit more than you can handle. Don't worry. I prepared some supplies to help out. Ooh, let me take a look. After looking at the supplies, Cornetius stabs them with his lance. The supplies burst into flames. Hey, Cornetius, what are you doing? That stuff is trash. Best to use my battle spoils. Cornetius throws a bundle at you. Here, brat, take what you like. I mean, you keep calling me brat, so I want to just on principle be like, no, you can keep your stuff. Jerk. Uh, random enemy poison plus four at the end of turn is the Serpent King's ring. Um, random enemy at the end of every turn? Wow. At the start of the turn, removes frail and cripple. That's nice. At the start of the next turn, after interrupted turn is triggered, charge plus ten. Let's do a little defense. I've been going all offense. Ha ha ha! This way I won't have to go easy on you with the trial. Mistassa, bring him over when you're ready. As for you, devil woman, Cornetius points his lance at Rebel. No tricks. Cornetius sets his lance on the sho on his shoulder and laughs as he heads off. Take your time. No need to rush. Rebel waves her hand and or her wand and disappears. Rebel, what are you up to? A foolish question. Do you really think that Cretan is capable of giving you a normal trial? No tricks. Can't make any promises. <laughs> You're hardly better than he is, Miss Rebel. All right, so let's see. Let's go on the mission. I'm not even gonna go shopping because I just want to see what like stage four enemies are like. Um. All right. Select a path. Trial of courage. Uh, remember to watch your hygiene. I found a cave filled with this asphyxiating poison. Do you have the courage to face it? I mean, yeah, I think so. Hi, Fire Scorpion. Oh, look at these friends. Just some bandits. Bandits with more health than me, unfortunately. Temporary strength. Armor plus eight. Well, they are going to hit me for a lot. I should probably do that. And I can only do three damage right now. So, huh. Well, oh no. I was going to say the guy that's going to hit me for 13 is right up front. But no. Let's be smart about this and block a little bit. Maybe we should block a little bit more. And then go for... Okay. Uh, one more. Enter. Blocked it. Doing okay. Next turn, two pair. Now again, they're, they're hitting me for a lot. Um... Let's do one pair. Block up a little bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna play defensively this time. End my turn. Oh, they're they're bandits, so they're stealing my money. I should have gone shopping. They're just stealing my money. Indie Divo, thank you for the sub and welcome to the Dragon Riders. Enjoy that sweet dragon badge next to your name, your range of custom emotes. You're twice as likely to win in any channel giveaways, and you have my eternal thanks for supporting the channel. All right. Uh, all I can do is try to slash at this guy, but that's okay because they're not really dealing damage this time. They're just stealing my money. But joke's on you, fool. I don't have any more money for you to steal. 
You've already taken all of my money. Wither, doing its job. Okay. 101 damage on that... Okay, well, you know what, then? I'm gonna use this five. Oh, it only deals six damage. I was hoping it would take him out. Um, Let's do straight on this friend. I want it... No, I don't want it on the first friend. I want it on the second friend. You turd. How did I change the... How did I change? Last time I was able... Oh, I guess maybe I had to click on them before I clicked the cards. What an epic failure. I thought I just dragged the cards to them. Okay, noted. You have to click on them before you click the cards. We know for the future. I'm about to get totally owned. Uh, that was an expensive mistake. And then I'm gonna do that. All right. All right, victory it is. Claim my rewards. Hmm, let's compare with what we have. Arm strength level two. Uh... Blood armor level 2. Yo. Armor plus 28, but HP minus 4. That's pretty rad. Or rain slash. Deal 7 damage 5 times. Uh, let's do the blood armor. Okay. You know what? I really like the combat in this game. So rather going for an encounter, because uh, we only have a little bit of time left, I just really, I, I'm going to do one more combat. That's the part that appeals to me. The most, I should say. Okay, look at this cactus. Deal 50 damage before they fill up. Let's see. I mean, no one's hitting me except for that back guy for 11 this time. So let's do... I don't know. Do I want to take out the little dudes? Or maybe I just do straight away 50 damage to that guy now that I... Okay. Alright, that was pretty good. And then I'll use... For... This is gonna do th only 3 damage each turn. 1, 2, 3. End turn. And I'll just take the 14. Well, I guess I'll take 11 of them. Um, okay. To pair is temporary strength. We can block. No, we don't need to block because no one's, no one's got me this time. Let's deal, mm, temporary strength plus five. Draw two cards. And yeah, now we can take out this guy. Oh, what? Ugh, I had to use all of them on that little cactus. It's fine. I'm not worried about the five damage, so let's do the two pair. Oh, we got two pair again. I'm not gonna do it though. Well, cause right now we've got nine times four damage. So what's that, 32, no, 36. Nine times four is 36. Uh, versus if I had two that were 14. So yeah, this is a better deal right now. Quick mathing, quick mathing. Uh, let's take out one, two, three, and four. No damage now. Oh, is this guy healing himself? Oh, what a stinker. Oh, but then he got it. So, I mean, he healed himself just for this last moment. For that last moment for me to have a victory. Um, Churney says, call me Churney. You got it. Welcome, Churney Adventures. Folks, this has been Zoetti. So, like I mentioned, on Tuesday and today, congrats. So much congrats on your launch today. Zoetti comes out on Steam and Nintendo Switch yep. today, April 20th, uh, from Dusk Light Games and Akupara Games. 
huge congratulations. The game's a lot of fun. Um, and if you just tuned in at like the very end of that gameplay, it's a turn-based roguelite with card-based mechanics that are uh, poker-based, which is fun and unique. And uh, the storyline is basically that we are trying to stop uh, that half fiend who we met for half a second from unleashing an ancient fiend who was sealed there by four gods. So we have to stop him from breaking all four seals. You know, you get it. Uh, the characters are very interesting. Um, and uh, yeah, there's the characters that are NPCs is what I was saying are very interesting. But there are three different playable characters as well. Even though I was only really playing with Valentina today, who's the knight. There's also Alvis, who's a trickster, and Nicara, who's a mage. So... Feel free to check that out. There was a link in chat if you want to go follow them. You know I'm all about supporting indie devs and indie games in general. So big congratulations. Um, and I'm going to keep the uh, Zoeti command up and running so that if anybody wants to check out the game at any point in the stream, even after we switch games, you will be able to do that. All right. Let me get this going. Leviathan of Mars says, yeah, those NPCs were flirty. I tell you what they were. Like I said, I got me blushing here on, uh, you got me blushing here on stream for sure. Especially Rebel. Oh, ma'am. Oh, ma'am. <laughs> All right, I'm going to save my game, claim my rewards, save my game when I go back in. Okay. Yes. Perfect. And perfect. Exit. Yes. Great. Um, RPG romance is a hard win for me, says Static Gamer. I mean, RPG romance is a thing. You guys know I have no in-game game. So... I always tend to fail, even when, like, the NPC is making the hard play for you as the PC. I still, I still don't get it. I still don't get any in-game love. Okay, here. I'm going to turn on my Nintendo Switch. Um, I was going to say, speaking of in-game love, maybe uh, Link and Zelda will finally link up. But I don't, I don't think that's <laughs> really really appropriate also everybody's gonna get a big hug soon because my camera's like it feels so high up like so much higher up than usual so free hugs for everybody while i adjust my camera just a tad oh that's better that's better you guys can't see the controller that catapult oh yeah it's right over there that controller that was right up there the xbox controller just boop right off the wall a little earlier right off the wall a little earlier. Uh, Journey Adventure says, Aw, we love hugs. We do love hugs. I concur. You know what I also love? I also love when my capture card acknowledges my Switch. But let's see if we can make that happen today. Sometimes it takes a moment, and that's okay. Uh, let's go here, and then here. Let's see if that helps it. Uh, maybe, maybe, yay, boom, and we've got a winner. What do I use to hang my controllers? Um, I actually have the wall mounts linked to my Amazon store because some of them uh, work super well, but I think I need to use to screw them in. I just found these really cheap controller mounts on Amazon, and they've honestly worked really well for me thus far. I have even more of them over here, but every now and then one catapults off to its doom because I'm using the adhesive. And I should probably, here, uh, Fate Photo Redeemed Stretch. So I'll show you. Okay, so like this one is ready to come off, but I'll show you what they look like. Hold on, controller. Controller, stay! But, yeah, they just basically look like this. And then I was just using the adhesive to stick them to the wall. Uh, but there aren't screw holes and it comes with mounting screws and stuff too. Um, you use Total Mount, and so far those work for me. Is Total Mount the name of the brand or, like, the adhesive that you use? Okay, I'm getting in my stretch. Thank you, Fate, for keeping me not a crumpled up gremlin. Um, and I, see, this is how they get off, because then I just stick it back on. <laughs> when really I should be, like, measuring exactly where it goes. 
Because it didn't leave a mark when it came off, which is good. But yeah, the rest are on there pretty snug so far. Um, oh, Churney Adventure says they have the Zoetty soundtrack listed too. Love that. I do love that when games do that as well. But yeah, go support any games. If that game looks like your cup of tea, definitely go check it out. And like I said, I'm going to leave the, uh, the command up there so that anyone can go check out Zoetty on its launch day. Huzzah. Okay. Um, I'm also noticing, sorry, hugs again because my camera's a little crooked now. There we go. Okay, better. We're finally there. Total Mount is the brand name. Okay, cool. I'll check them out. Thank you. They usually make Apple Mounts. Maybe that's why I don't know them. <laughs> As a non-I friend. Okay. So let me change our game category over to Breath of the Wild. And I won't have too much time for Breath of the Wild today, but any bit gets us a little bit closer. Um, I will not be able to stream tomorrow, unfortunately, because I'm on set for Kingston Technology all day tomorrow. Um, but I will be streaming on Sunday, so hopefully we'll make a lot of progress here on Sunday. So where we left off, we just got a new memory. We're all up in here. And if we look at the map, I just opened up this whole section of the map, but I don't actually know what's here or where I should go in this region. Uh, the only other divine beast that I've even come close to discovering is down here, but everybody had said that that's like the hardest divine beast. Um, so I'm guessing, should I, I'll ask chat, should I now take Peanut and travel into Great Hyrule for Forest? Peanut is my horse, by the way. Should I take Peanut and go into the forest? Or uh, should I try to come get whatever this tower or thing is over here and go into this new space up in here? I don't know. I don't know what is the right answer. I can remove this now. Okay. Because we don't need that anymore. Air Barber says, wait, is this a first time play? Air Barber, I have been playing this game off and on for years now this is my like treat yourself me time game and so it's like i would like turn it on and be like oh we're just gonna do a little shrine today and then turn it off oh just gonna do a little horseback riding maybe take out some bad guys today um tiny says you're not ready for the forest yet okay great thank you for that heads up um so what should i do to get i guess i could travel here? What did I put a stamp there for? I don't know. Let's go here and see what this pin is. I pinned some stuff. We're two divine beasts down. But yeah, basically because I was like, I just want to exist in this world. Um, I never really made a lot of progress towards the main story mission. I just was like, Korok seeds and beautiful landscape are great. Also, when you first start out in this game, you're really squishy. So I would encounter a lot of... Uh, bad guys that I really wasn't leveled to take yet. Oh, that's the guy who's like, pay me so that uh, you can glide for me. And I'm like, not about that life. Okay, so let's see. The yellow is this way? Where is it? Oh, the yellow is just a shrine. Is that a shrine I've been to before, though? Probably not, I guess. I should also look at, because we're trying to check off some of these memories, too. I mean, that's a big tree near the castle. Maybe that's in the forest, though. I don't know. Let's just go. I know one of those was right in front of the castle. Maybe I should have tried to do the one right in front of the castle. Ayahuti, are you making are you making a joke about my Hamburglar shirt today? I thought it was Beetlejuice, but <laughs> uh, let's see. It's yellow but not blue. You could go to the Hyrule Forest. Need a bit more health to do the main thing there, but there's some other good perks from going there, says Air Barber. Okay. Well, let's just see if I can get my booty to this shrine over here. And shrine it out. I still have about 45 minutes left that I can stream today. Oh, 
do I have anything I could do some landscaping with? Oh, yes, I do. Anything? Anything? I saw someone refer to um, all Legend of Zelda games as landscaping sims, and it made me laugh. Gave me a good chuckle. Hi, Terrace House Guy. How are you? Do you actually have a Terrace House? Because that sounds lovely. Oh, I got a butterfly. SDS says, I say we Leroy Jenkins Ganon with no armor or weapons and see how it goes. You know, as promising as that sounds. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, my wind cleaver's badly damaged already? I, like, just got it. Are you kidding me? That's not fun. All right, did I break his shield though? Um, let's use this, the stone smasher. I know it's, maybe he'll like this better. I don't want to pick up your weapons and your shields are not great. Okay, let's, let me go pick up all his pieces that fell down. I'll leave that little fox alone. Maybe I'll go for this guy. Uh, what armor set do I have on? Mmm. Climbing pants. Let's put back on sneaky pants. Ready? We're gonna do a little sneaky sneak attack. It's gonna be great. A little sneaky attack. Oh, he turned around! Sir, you ruined the surprise. Oh no, my stone smasher's badly down. Man, whip of your ability is the worst, but I will take that. Which is great because that just broke. I'll take that, thanks. Did you drop your goodies? Oh, lots of people over here, friendly or foe. I guess we'll find out. Oh no. All right, I like to take these dudes down with a spear, even though this isn't a very good spear. I will also take your duplex bow. Man, what happened to these poor people? You okay? Nice and safe again, thanks to you. Here, take this, it's a token of my gratitude. Oh, an electro fruit cake. Yum. Thank you. Uh, Maybe you're already knowing this, but lightning strikes ain't exactly uncommon around these here parts. You'd best unequip your metal gear, and when there's a lightning storm brewing, at least that's what they say. Oh, hey, got enough foodstuffs for your journey? Best not tempt running low, so why not take a look at what I've got? All right, let's oh. see what she's got. Some wheat, some butter. And a bird egg. She's got all the stuff to make cake. Which I haven't really made a lot of. Let me do one more one more goat butter just to have it in stock. Uh, you have returned. Shocking. Jcom, welcome back, friend. How are you? Ah. Alright, now those if okay, if these are actually lightning, I'm gonna need the new thing I just picked up. And I'm gonna need to swap to this shield. Um, and what bow do I currently have? Let's swap to that bow. Okay. Hopefully we'll be okay on the lightning front. And this shrine should be right in here. Journey Adventures is making me want to play Darkest Dungeon again. I know, with all those sound alerts, aren't they great? Hey, come here, Electric Darner. Oh, here comes the lightning storm. Excuse you! All of you! Rude! So rude. Okay, what also is this beautiful turquoise rock? Give me some of that. Oh. 
Wait, what's what's exploding on me? What? It is my pleasure. What did I have? I thought I took off all the metal stuff. I guess that bat was not lightning safe. I thought it was. This is the bat I use. It was like this. Is that one not safe too? You're wearing something metal. What am I wearing that's metal? Yeah, I'm still, uh, my armor maybe? My sneaky pants? Do my sneaky pants have metal on them? Uh. Oh yeah, like I guess my boots. All right, let me go back to this set, I guess. No, that's still not it. Armor is never metal. Open your inventory again, it will show you. Oh, that shield is. Weird, it doesn't look like it has anything. I didn't mean to drop it, but that's all right. I'm still, still! This bow, every bow, every bow apparently is is bad oh my goodness okay well that was a learning curve and a waste of my uh free life okay let's go in here at least Oh, look at the little freeze frame dragonfly guy for the cutscene. That's hilarious. <laughs> I love it. Oh, the duplex bows should be fine. They're just glinting, not sparkling. It's confusing, but the glints are okay. Okay, thank you, Steven. Yellow sparkle means it is as full durability. The green sparkle means you'll get electrocuted. Got it. Because I will need to equip a bow. Yellow sparkle just means pristine condition. Okay. Okay, what's this one called? Drawing parabolas. Oh, no. It's going to make me think back to geometry. Okay, if I put it there and you toss it there, it should throw all the way around, right? Unless... Can I get up here? No. So I need to kind of fling myself that way too. Can I fling myself and the ball at the same time maybe? Here, let me just see. So yeah, yellow sparkle is fine, you guys are saying. So I will equip that, just so I have something. I do have a lot of stuff in pristine condition, apparently. Oh. No? Okay, here. I'm here now. Did that work? Where'd the ball go? It did not work. I'm guessing I have to go before the ball to hit the thing. Or maybe I could shoot an arrow at it. What does that do? Oh. I don't know if that's helpful. Well, let's see. We'll just we'll just see what happens. Okay. Yeah, that's not it. Oh. Oh. 
would like to get that, so can you? Okay. My turn. Give me that loot. What do we get? A thunder blade. Okay. No, I don't want that to fling there, so I'm gonna waste. I'm not gonna waste any more arrows. I'm just gonna. That's not gonna help me until I can. I mean, can I move some of those? It doesn't look like I can. I probably shouldn't destroy the Boko Club. Can I just push it off? Ah! Alright, that is not where I wanted to fall. Thank goodness there's a ladder. Uh, and let me go back over here. And then turn this one more time. I know, it's badly damaged. Um, and we'll take this back. Bombs are better than hitting stuff. Oh yeah, I guess because then you're not wasting your weapon durability, huh? Oh wait. <laughs> Did it work? No. I just want to throw the, the ball. I don't actually want myself to be in it. That's fine. Okay, let's see how this goes. Up, up, and away. Up, up, and away. Okay, now that it's in there, I'll get myself there too. Whoa, it's flung it back. I don't want that. Oh, I see. No! No, wait, how do I turn it the other way? I didn't realize it was gonna shoot it back out again. So it's like I would need to turn it really fast to get it all the way back around. Unless, can I stasis that? I can't even stasis that. You know what I could try? Can I stasis this little ball? I can. Let's try this. This will be a total hack of the system if I can do it. Like what if I stasis this and then just whack it up and over? I don't know if it'll stay on there, but. Lumi says it's actually very simple. I'm like, what if I... Because I can't magnesis it, can I? I guess that's worth checking. No. What if I do that and then... No! Hold on, I need something else. Uh, I don't care about that. No, wrong way! <laughs> you said I already had it in the correct position? down in it kept just doing it back this way and this way and I don't want that maybe it's that one no because that throws it that way and that did not work this had a little ramp on that side. So now I just gotta find 
where that dang little ball went. Where did I lose it? Can I get another one? Oh, it's over here. Okay, all right, all right. So it was not a time thing. It was just a matter of putting it in the correct spot. Fine. Put it there. Uh-huh. There it is. Get through here, get our spirit orb, and be on our way. Posture check. Thank you, Lumi. Geronimus, this is on Switch. I should go back to Goran Town and pick up another hammer? Yeah, because I'll probably be missing out on a lot of, uh, lot of good mining, huh? So creepy looking. Okay, got it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I guess the next move from here, you say go back to Goring Town, pick up another hammer, but after that, the next move from here is just keep exploring, keep, keep opening up the map, right? Like, that's the red one. Wait, isn't one of my albums with that thing in the air? Yeah, right there. Am I near that? Maybe, maybe it's like down there. Well, now I gotta know. going. I mean, that's like a big tree. Was there a big tree in that picture? No? STS says, I mean, how hard can another divine beast really be? I mean... We can find out. I know you can go right for Ganon without even defeating the divine beast, but it's a lot harder. Dun 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 is appropriate, yes. All right, let's, hold on, wrong button. Let's go with Wing Cleaver. No, come on. Get some choo choo jelly. Okay, this is another stable, I'm guessing. In here? Oh, I didn't grab it. I should have. That was silly of me. I should probably cook some more food, too, while I'm over here. Okay, we got a new stable. He's gonna tell me about another memory and where I can find it. Tell me where, sir. That one. The big tree, Hyrule Castle in the distance. So this must be north of the castle. The south side of the castle is where Castle Town used to be, but I don't see any buildings here, which means Yes, indeed. I'd say this is likely on the north side, across the castle moat. Achoo! It should be. Achoo! Excuse me, southeast of this stable. <laughs> uh, no Name says, hi there, launch day. Yeah, it was a game called Zoetti's launch day, but now we're playing Breath of the Wild. Thank you for this. Okay, southeast of here. However, the area around the castle is extremely dangerous. All right, so let's look back at the map. There's the castle, southeast of the castle, or southeast of here, north of the castle. 
directly across the moat, he said. Well, Northern Castle would be over here. So maybe it's like in this area. I'm going to put a star right there-ish because that's where I think it might be. KP Dubs, I know my sneeze sounds like a tiny dog accidentally got their paw stepped on or something. I, I'm aware. Um, Tyneek says it's a good idea to go back to the first town and pick up any quests you didn't get the first time. You Do you mean Hatno Village? Is that the first town? I don't remember. Oh, hey, Beetle. I'll talk to Beetle. What have you got? <laughs> arrows. I do need arrows. Um, six rupees a piece or ten for four. I mean, ten for forty-five is a better. It's a better deal. I'll buy them. I don't know what I want to sell them. Nothing, I guess. <laughs> Oh, look at these guys. Hello. The Leviathans of ancient times went extinct due to a sudden cataclysmic drought long ago. Mm. My theory is that the Leviathans uh, went extinct due to volcanic eruptions. So drought, mm. volcano, or ice age. Mm. And they're fighting about it. Why did the Leviathans go extinct? That is the question we scientists are mm. trying to answer. We haven't yet located any Leviathan remains, so we're stuck with theories. But we do have a general idea of where remains might be found. The Elden Mountains in the northeast, the Hebra region in the northeast, and the Gerudo re region in the southwest. The climates of these regions are rather extreme. You've got the look of someone who's done a fair bit of adventuring. Would you be willing to find these leviathan bones and draw a picture of them? I especially want to see the head of the animal. If you can get just a bit of it in the picture, that would be adequate. Aww. Okay. Wait, they're only going to me, pay me 300 rupees and I have to go to all those places? That seems extreme. Oh, it's raining, so I can't cook right now. Of course it is. But it does appear there's some stuff back here. I got some spicy peppers. Anything else I can get while it's raining? Having a little morning. Oh, here's an iron sledgehammer. Look, we don't even have to go back for it. That's convenient. Well, I did want to cook, but I guess now. So we did that shrine. We did that. Let's go for this, and then I'll come back and cook if I need to. And then we'll also go for what I assume is over there. It's always raining. J. Rodman says, do you have any DLC? And this is a uh, sad answer, but the answer is I don't know. What is that big snake thing? The big dragon worm thing. What is that? I don't know. Okay, this looks like death. Is this death? Uh, or should I go down there and then try to cheese my way up? How do I get past this? Oh, man. It's like all over. The whole way. So that's the only way to do it. I gotta get Peanut and travel up that way. Really big floaty friend? Dragon daddy? <laughs> Tyneek says, based on the shrines you've done that I've never seen, I think you have DLC. Okay, great. I mean, I'm very, very lucky. Uh, ever since Nintendo uh, said that I could be a Nintendo brand ambassador, they are very kind with hooking me up with cool stuff. Oh, I didn't even realize that sword, like, shoots straight ahead. That is very cool. All right, can I get Peanut from here? Or do I have to go get Peanut out of the stable? Are you guys chasing me? You are. Yeah. Don't chase me. I didn't want to have to do that. Is this Beetle again? Chris the Brit! Oh no, it's Chris! Thank you. I love that Jessica Rabbit statue. She's amazing. Who's this down here? Okay, I need a horse. I need a horse. If we're going to be traversing... 
Great areas. I need to get my horse. And now I can cook again. It was just a short little morning rain, apparently. Soldier shield. What you got going on? Hi. Tired from your long trip? I'm not a Leviathan researcher. On the other side of Mount Drina, northeast of the stable, there are ruins that are dark even during the day. I've never met anyone who's been in there, so no one's ever gone in or out. Maybe I just haven't met everyone yet. You should probably stay here forever just to be safe. Ha <laughs> that's super creepy, but thank you for the invite, I guess. Um, let's look at my cooked food and sort it and see what I need more of. So I don't have a lot of just hearts, so maybe I should make some more just hearts. I do have some hasty stuff. I have some fireproof stuff. I have some chili stuff. I have some sneaky stuff. I don't, uh, I don't have a lot of electro stuff and I don't have a lot of attack defense stuff. So let's do, let's do some of that. So in the meantime, I'm gonna do some more. You guys said anything with hearty in it, you can cook by itself. So I'm going to do that. Steven Zarita said, I always heard that the stable dogs will lead you somewhere if you feed them enough, but it's never worked for me. That's interesting. All right, I could cook some stuff with mighty bananas and that would give me the attack up. If sneaky food was a real thing and you were dating someone who had a fridge full of it, that would be a big red flag. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Maybe they're, like, studying to be a ninja or something. I like the cooking sounds, too. They're very nice. Um, hydromelon is heat resistance. Okay. Let's get some bananas and put them with some apples. Let's see if we can get some attack up apples. Mighty simmered fruit. I love it. Let's do that again. Two bananas this time. No, three bananas. Again, we'll just do the exact same thing. Okay. Now let's see what we have in terms of defense. Oh, I got lots of hearty truffles. Let's make at least a cooked hearty truffle or two. <laughs> Woohoo! The cooking sounds are nice, STS. I'm with you. Okay. Uh, endure the cold, increase your movement, increases your defense, iron shrooms. So let's hold three iron shrooms and pair them with, um, maybe some meats. Yeah, tough meat and mushroom skewer. Okay. Okay, that's it. Make another one of those. Okay, the only other thing I really needed to cook, I said, was like electricity stuff. Um, oh, we got hearty radishes too. Hyrule herb. I don't think I have any zap shrooms. No, not right now. Increase your stealth. The Silent Princess. Bird's eggs. Hardy bass. Speed boost, stamina recovery. Heat resistant. Move silently. Attack power. Stamina. Oh, I don't think I have much of anything to do for this. Yellow choo-choo jelly. I mean, I don't think you can cook choo-choo jelly, right? 
I don't think you can. Um, what's this guy? Oh, a fireproof lizard. Yeah, I'm gonna have to catch some stuff, I think. You can use choo-choo jelly for elixirs? I thought maybe you could. Let's see. Uh, hold some choo-choo jelly and mix it with some uh, key swing. See what happens. It is a monster part. Oh, no. Dubious food. Yeah. Well, that didn't work. I don't want that dubious food. What if I just cook a choo-choo jelly? You need a bug with the monster parts to make it an elixir. Oh. Um. Any kind of bug? But if it's like a cold bug or something else, won't that cancel out the effects that I'm trying to get with a choo-choo? I feel like that'll cancel that out. Bug, reptile, any of the smaller critters. Um, I mean, we'll try the warm darner and see what happens. Yeah, that was a spicy elixir. It doesn't do anything for the, uh, the choo-choo. Alright, well, we learned something. Hey, can I... I'd like my horse, please. Peanut is my only horse. Just eat a bug, Trish. No biggie. <laughs> Target while well mounted and then force the horse to move step by step. Try not to put your horse in a dangerous situation. Alright, buddy. Wait, hold on. Before we go anywhere, I saw a shiny right over here and I'm not sure what it is. Oh, just some flint. Alright. Okay, so now that we're on our horse, we can either try, I mean, I guess. We could travel over here and look for the memory, or we could go up here. I don't know if the memory is actually here. Well, let's just let's just give it a go. Nope, oh, wrong way, wrong way. Turn it around. Oh, Peanut's kind of like the horse you ride in real life or in game, Red Banshee. Nice. Nice. Nice galloping, Peanut. Love you. In real life! That's awesome that you ride horses in real life. Go this way. Some stuff up here I could maybe get. No, oh, it doesn't. You can't pick up while you're riding! I need to hang hard to my left. Oh, watch out for guardians here. I thought on this side we might be okay, but maybe not. I do have that one guardian killer arrow. And then remember they were like, go somewhere else for really impressive armor and stuff. But I don't have enough money for really impressive armor and stuff. Huh. 
All right, so Tynique, if you're like, watch out for guardians, and there might be guardians on the north side of the cat of the moat of the castle here, then maybe this is a bad call trying to get in this close. One arrow won't be enough to kill a walking guardian. Okay, there's a tree over there. Maybe that could be the tree? Ooh, what's this? Okay, Peanut, stay there where it's safe. Oh, but I will take some of these. There's lots of good stuff going on in here. A hot footed frog? Okay, is this my tree? Please be my tree. Tree, little tree, rock, castle. Yeah, tree, little tree. And rock. Yes! Okay, that was so much easier than finding the last one. Let's get our memory and then force of rumble, you get your hug. Steven Zarita, I keep forgetting that there's armor upgrades. I definitely need to do them. There's one. Oh, and another. The flowers we have in Hyrule aren't just beautiful. They're also quite useful as ingredients for a variety of things. This one here is called the Silent Princess. Oh, I've gotten Rare some of these. Endangered species. Despite our efforts, we can't get them to grow domestically yet. The princess can only thrive out here, in the wild. All that we can hope is that the species will be strong enough to prosper on its own. <gasps> is that what I think it is? Look at this. I don't believe it, but I actually caught one. This delicacy is known to have very, very potent effects under the proper circumstances. Ta-da! Research from the castle shows ingesting one of these can actually augment certain abilities. We wouldn't be in a controlled environment out here, but with your level of physical fitness, you'd be a perfect candidate for the study. <laughs> Go on. Eat it. Taste it. <laughs> <laughs> Just eat this raw frog. It'll be fine. Okay, we got it. I'm gonna go back across and get Peanut. All right, now you guys are saying we could upgrade our armor. I can't fast travel with Peanut though, can I? I don't think I can. Um, I can only upgrade my armor. It's outside Kakariko Village, right? think that's where you upgrade your armor with like the gem lady or whatever hi Gilman Griff how are you today elemental weakness if you use an icy attack against a fire enemy you may defeat it in one hit whoa there's multiple places you can upgrade armor but Kakariko is the easiest yeah that's the that's the only one I know of so far. And my I got to go up here to get to that, I think. Oh! Oh, sir. Come back. 
back here! Where'd he go? Where'd he go, the stinker? I didn't get him. I didn't get him. Come here, give me more! Give me all your rubies! Give them to me! You little loot bunny! Legit loot bunny! Oh, he disappeared again. Loot bunny! Okay, Great Fairy Fountain, here we go. Do you want me to enhance your clothing? Yes, please. All right, here's what she can enhance so far. Oh, my champion's tunic. Oh, because the silent princess. What? Yes, please. It's a money bunny, yeah. That was a great upgrade. Her noises are so funny. Uh, set bonuses. If they've been enhanced twice, you get the set bonus, but only if you wear the whole set, and not all sets have a bonus. Um, okay. I can enhance the ruby circlet. It'll go from three to five and gives cold resistance. I can also enhance... The flame breaker armor. Well, I wish I would have enhanced that before I just did the whole flame breaker section. Is it even worth enhancing now? I don't know. I don't know. Uh. I'm gonna do the necklace for sure. Mm. <sighs> Cause I know I'm gonna have to go back to that section. All right, what do you think? Is it worth me trying to upgrade the fireproof stuff? Or no? Might as well. It doesn't cost you anything you need. All right. The climbing boots. I don't know what they need yet. That, do I only... Does she only tell me if I have it, maybe? No spoilers. No spoilers. Okay. All right. Then I'll do it. Thank you for the no spoilers. But I wear the champion's tunic all the time, so I'm really glad that just got upgraded. That's pretty rockin'. Oh, and I can probably go back <clears throat> now that I've had some more memories. <sighs> but is that Hatno Village? I don't remember. Bruce Green is raiding! What? Bruce Green, thank you for the raid. Thank you for bringing your community on over here. I'm sorry that I will have to end the stream in the next like five or so minutes because I have an appointment because therapy is great. Take care of your mental health, everybody. But welcome to the stream. Uh, for those of you I don't know, my name's Trisha Hirschberger. These balloons are for you. Welcome to the Dragon Riders. I normally do tech and video game um, content online as an on-camera host. And on the days I'm not on set, I try to stream here on Twitch because it's a good time. Welcome. For those of you who do not already follow Bruce Green, you absolutely should. What a talented, kind, amazing, and funny human. Please go ahead. I believe we have a shout out in chat. If we don't, yes, we do. You were playing Mr. Sun's Hat Box. I just played that uh, on my indie game showcase, not this past week, but the week before that. Mr. Sun's Hatbox is a real good time, Bruce. I hope that you enjoyed your time playing that game. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying my time playing some Breath of the Wild before Tears of the Kingdom comes out. Chris wants you to know that Trisha attacks bunnies for rupees, but you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do in Hyrule. All right? It's important. Bruce says, so much fun. Yay, I'm so glad. Bruce, I hope you are well, my friend. Please know that I'm thinking of you. Um, I'm thinking of your whole fam family, and I hope you guys are well. Yeah, that game is a blast, right, Red Banshee? You remember that game. 
Yeah! Bruce, if you have to raid and run, please go ahead and give yourself all the self-care that you need. Get some water, use the restroom, do what you gotta do. Spend time with that wonderful family of yours and know how much I appreciate you sending your community this way. Thank you. All right, we're just upgrading some armor sets. We've done the thing. Now I'm gonna go talk about some memories. Oh, wait. Examine there? What is... Some blue nightshade? Okay, is that Money Bunny still around? Hello, Money Bunny. I don't think the Money Bunny is still around. Let's do some gardening. Oh, some restless crickets that I totally missed. And I'm totally going to miss this lizard, too. Come back here! Wait, I gotcha! Ha-ha! <laughs> Red Banshee says, I wish my bunny pooped money. You know, I didn't think of it as pooping money, but... Who knows? Sometimes there's some weird lore in Legend of Zelda games, so who knows? Okay, we're gonna go up here to check, but first I want to try this apple trick you guys were talking about. Hold an apple. Uh. Yeah! See, I always just took all the apples before because I, you know, I need loot in games like that. Bye bye Thank you. Now I'm gonna take all the apples. They'll replace them. It's fine. They will replace them. Alright, we're going in. Hello. Old Impa. In spirits of some divine, the spirits of some divine beasts have been appeased and the powers of evil have weakened. The princess must sense this as well. Still the divine beast Von Meadow remains. That one was controlled by Rivali of the Rito. Divine beast Von Naboris also remains. That one was controlled by Urbosa of the Ger Gerudo. Aha, thank you for telling me where to go next. You should be able to find the general location of any remaining divine beasts on your map. You are Princess Zelda's only hope and high rules as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. Thank you, Impa. Anything? Else? Oh, I think I can talk to her one more time now. You may not remember your last meeting with Ganon, but it did not end well for you. If you want a different outcome this time around, you'll need to be properly equipped. My memories? Uh, I did. Oh, once I visited, all of them returned to her. Oh, okay, okay, I'll be back. I'll be back. I won't fail. Ha, huh, how strange. To think a hundred years ago, you wore that champion's tunic every day. I feel as though I've been transported in time. Link, our princess, you must rescue her. You know I'm going to try. Let's see if I can buy some more arrows while I'm here. But really, I mean, the cheapest way to do that is to... Is to have an enemy just toss a bunch of arrows at me and then pick them up later. But I don't need food. What you got? Some fire arrows... Five each? Okay. For 20 for five? Let's do that. Yeah. I'll take them all, please. Oh. Great. Thank you. Okay. Alright, so with that all in order now, we're slightly better equipped. I'm thinking we get Peanut. And, like, I don't know how we're going to cross that ravine. So I'm thinking we get Peanut and go up that way. I'm going to travel there. Yellows VO, welcome back. Thank you for the resub, my friend. Uh, Steven says, Trisha, is it okay to drop hints about Korok seeds? Um, in some cases, if it's something that you see that, like, I've definitely not figured out, please let me know. Um, but some of them I really am figuring out just fine every time I walk past it, so. 
What is tree, tree in the middle of rocks? Is tree in the middle of rocks a thing I need? I mean, there's a lot of rocks, to be fair. Mm, probably okay for right now. Um, let's go get Peanut. Peanut's this way. Or maybe I can call Peanut from here. You think Peanut can hear me? <whistles> Peanut couldn't hear me. Too far. Too far. Haha, <laughs> Chris the Brit, you are up to no good and I appreciate it, friend. Alright, let's climb up and get this and then we'll get our horsey Peanut. And I wish, like I said, I wish I could stream longer today. Usually I do stream a little bit later in the day. Um, but today I do have, uh, so I do have some counseling. Take care of your mental health, everybody. It's very important. I believe everybody needs a therapist. Just like, you know, you get like a gym trainer for your body. Get a therapist to make sure everything's all checked out and good. With your mind and your well-being, too. Alright, where is Peanut? Get in there. Peanut. Still can't hear me. Peanut. Here it comes. Okay, now we're getting closer. Down there. I left you down here. <laughs> Sorry, Peanut. I just, if there were guardians, I didn't want you to get in trouble. Okay, come on over here. Come on over here. Nope, wrong button. Okay. So, this is where I'm going to save the game. Uh, but the next time I'll be playing Breath of the Wild, if you find yourself like, man... I need to revisit some Breath of the Wild before Tears of the Kingdom comes out. The next time I will be playing that is this Sunday, and that'll be a nice long game sesh. So I'm hoping we can get the two other towers that I had marked and take out a Divine Beast all on Sunday. That is the goal. We should absolutely raid. Yes. Um, we were very con uh, lucky to get a few raids today. Thank you to Good Day Internet, Bruce Green, and Akapara Games for your raids today. You guys are amazing, and I appreciate you. Uh, so because of that, the two towers, now you've got me thinking Lord of the Rings, Corgi Cyborgy. Um, and, uh, J Trod, you're so into Horizons DLC Burning Shores today. I can't wait to play that too. There are so many good games out right now. Everyone's playing the X Defying Clothes beta. It's a good time to play video games. That's what I'll say about that. Um, all right. So let's see who we can raid that's on now. Um, Shovel's playing some Minecraft. Uh, completionist is playing Shovel Knight. That sounds like a good time. Let's raid Gerard. So many games, not enough time. Absolutely. It's a bit, like I said, it's a very good plan. Uh, a very good problem to have. All right, let's, let's raid Gerard. His streams are always such a good time and he's such a kind human. So I am starting that problem. Did we redeem a hug? We did. Okay, see, so yeah, I'll just pretend I saved it for the end. Uh, hugs for everybody. Thank you so much for joining the stream today. Um, you know, wherever you go, spread positivity and kindness. Try to do the best you can to take care of yourself. Keep your body healthy. Keep your mind healthy. And, uh, yeah, I'll hopefully see you soon. I'm on set for Kingston tomorrow, so there's no stream tomorrow, but I'll see you on Sunday. Bye, everyone. <laughs>